Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome to my RPG Maker VS8 video tutorials and in this episode I'm going to be answering a request by, I'm not even going to try to pronounce the name, but by this guy, this guy or this girl. Um, so basically the request is um, a skill shop and a crafting shop. Um, both of these can be achieved with a script but um, I'm going to first of all link the two scripts that um, that could do um, the um, skill shop and the crafting shop in the video description down below and then I'm also going to make a tutorial of how you can invent the skill shop I don't even I don't really know well you can invent a crafting shop but it's just um, too complicated so I'm going to show you an example of both so we're going to start off with the Skill shop, let's do it over here. Skill shop, skill shop. Hmm, find a good spot for this. Alright, let's do it right here. Okay, skill shop, we're gonna start off with just making a simple NPC. Let me just go ahead and find somebody. Yeah. Find somebody. Ah, uh, this guy's good. Okay, skill shop. So, what we're gonna do now is make some items and we're gonna call these skill books <coughs> <coughs> skill books okay so what we're gonna do is go ahead and make a new item we're gonna make let's say two skill books okay three yeah two call this skill book fire blast we're gonna go ahead and pick out a uh, Pick out a book, doesn't really matter. Um, used to learn fire blast. Um, we're gonna keep everything else the same. Consume, yes. Um, yes, one ally, yes. Actually, hmm, yeah, one ally. So, effect. So, basically, what we're gonna do is um, go to the other the last page actually this page yeah the last page and then we're gonna make it learn a skill so it's basically that simple let's go ahead and find the skill let's do fire one so learn skill fire apply okay so now all we have to do is go here sharp process which is at the last page and then we're gonna go ahead and sell the skill book fire blast Purchase soon, no, okay, apply, okay, now where is, okay, yeah, let's go back over here, okay, player, so, basically just go to this guy, actually, before we actually, um, do all of this, let me save. Yeah, for some reason my saving isn't working, so I don't really have to save. Um, before you actually do this, you have to make sure that your character could actually learn, learn um, magic stuff and stuff like that, or you could make it um, enabled um, while you're using the item. Like, um, stop perimeter. Which one was it? I forgot. I forgot. I forgot. I forgot. Special effects. No. Grow no stairs, nope. Deep off, remove deep off, remove stay. Remove. Well, basically, um, <clears throat> make sure your character can actually learn. <clears throat> Excuse me, I am not sick, I just have something in my throat. Um, da -da 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 -da, where's the skill? Okay, so come down to the skills and look at the skill type. Okay, no, not over here. Look for the skill type. Okay, so look at the skill type that the um that the item that the magic that the skill that you're using requires. So this is magic. So make sure that your character can use magic by either doing it here and adding uh, magic, which is skill as skill type magic or do it at the class um section so i'm just gonna leave it at the actor section and then press ok ok then we're gonna go back inside the game <clears throat> so what we're gonna do now is just buy this 
Then we're gonna look at our skill. We don't have any skills. Then go to items. Use this. And then go back to skill. And as you can see, we now have the fire. So that's how you would make a skill shop. Just make a whole bunch of books with the skills. And then um and then you could buy it from this guy. Well, that's just um one way to do it. That's multiple ways to do it, and I'm gonna go ahead and show you um the other way to do it. So the other way to do it is um less convenient because what what you will really have to do now is this is also a way to save on you um not making so many items. Let's say you need um you need to, you let's say you want to make um a skill shop but you don't want to use um items to make it because you need space for items so what you basically do is go to this guy i sell skills i sell skills and then show choice show choice show choice show choice show choice show choice and then buy fire skill and then buy some other skill by some other skill so basically you just make a show choice list like this um if you have like a lot that you want to make them able to buy you could just um use the another script called um i forgot what it's called but i'll also link it at the description which just makes it so you can have more than um four um show choices in a row um, so basically when you buy fire skill, you will do your regular conditions. Do you have the amount of money required? Zero or more. And then if you do, then skill learn, skill learn, skill learn, change skill, learn your actor, and then you change it to the fire one, which is which is down here. And okay, and you could also um, make this even more conditioned by just going by just checking if the character can actually um can you uh, let me check let me check let me check let me check uh, character you know apparently not apparently not um okay yeah uh I mean you could script that but don't worry about that so yeah let's just leave it like that so you could basically do that and that's another way to make a skill shop that's is that another way you could do this yeah. that's another way you could do this but i don't want to get into that so that's the two ways you can make a skill shop i suggest doing it with the book um that's basically like skyrim type skill shop where you have the books and then you can learn from the books so check up on my time and the second one is the um the is the the crafting shop so let's come down here to this city over here found the goose ah uh, no this is right here punch it in i like this little place better no, i'm just doing it. i'm looking for a good spot to do this like the spot really matters why i do it but mm, it matters to me yeah, there we go. Do it right here. Okay. So, this is for the crafting. <clears throat> Again, make an NPC. I'm just going to use one of my actors. Okay. One of my actors. So, crafting, 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 crafting. Hmm. So, crafting, when you invent a crafting system, that is one of the worst things you can ever do. But I'm going to try to explain to you guys how to make a simple craft. So show choice, craft a high, craft a super, P-O-T-I-O-N, craft a super potion. Okay, so when you pick a craft a super potion, basically all you have to do is a conditional conditional branch. Um, and then you just pick the items that you need. So if you have a, um, if you have a high, if you have a regular potion, and then if you have a, high potion then change item potion 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 decrease potion by one decrease potion by decrease high potion by one and then copy this last but not least then we will have to increase full potion by one so that's a basically crafting thing and then you could again 
make it a condition where you would actually charge gold so gold zero or more cut that out and then you could set your else's and you could change the um if you actually if you're actually charging then you could change how many gold that you could take out so basically it would be like this and then you repeat it multiple times you do not want to do this no get a script for this and i will show you the script that i use for my um for my blah, 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 for my crafting so right now let's go ahead and just test this out just to show you that it works go down to items let's go ahead and give me two of these items and as you can see in my inventory i have two of those items craft super potion and as you can see i lost the two potions and then i have a full potion now so that's a simple crafting you could put more ingredients to it you could not but we're, i'm gonna go ahead and show you the script that i use for this so i'm gonna go ahead and save and don't forget i'm also going to be um putting the scripts the links to the script in the um, description so check those two scripts out let's go ahead and go to life mini town go over here woods 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 let's just go ahead and um, jump into my character that i'm using right now oh i'm already in the woods killing bunnies killing bunnies and there's bunnies and dares I swear this game is fun bunny bunny I got him okay oh uh, oh wrong way so basically ooh give me some of that give me some of this yeah why you here why you here I don't like you I don't like you okay so yeah my crafting system let me go ahead and go in inside here although I could also show you the one out here so we'll go here craft and as you can see synthesize it's it's automatic for you you just pick the ingredients you want let me actually show you by making some ingredients so go all the way down here there they are just gonna increase these increase these okay synthesize they actually cost money but i actually don't have any money so i can't actually Actually, yeah, I could let me. Ooh, I need to go take a bath so I can easily fix this by clean, 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 clean. Hunger, hunger, here it is. Yeah, when you're dirty, no one wants to talk to you. Um, Bushman job, yes. Red herbs, um, I'll sell for these. Now I have some money. Okay. Craft now I can actually craft these and as you can see it's doing it automatic for me. Um you don't only you can you can use more than one ingredients like um like over here. This is basically the same thing as that but only for different stuff as you can see. Exit um craft the weapon same thing again so yeah that's it for this episode um how long ago? okay it wasn't even that long um i will see you guys in the next episode that i do or next video that i do actually um yeah peace